Hey guys, it's Daryl here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Now, have you ever had a low-end Squire or some other brand uh, equipped with a trim and just breathing on the bar puts the whole thing out of tune? So you just pull the bar off or you take the bridge and just suck it to the body and you never, ever, ever use the trim because it will just horribly put, <laughs> put the guitar out of tune. Uh, we're going to look at five ways to remedy that today. So check out this quick one minute jam of me absolutely abusing the trem system on the Squire, uh, pulling up, bending down, uh, bombing as far as I can go. Uh, you won't believe how well this thing stays in tune. Check it out. So that's crazy, right? I used that trim for the entire jam, and at the end of it, when I was ringing out the chords, while it wasn't 100% perfectly in tune uh, for a $150 guitar, it's phenomenal. So let's look at five things I did to this guitar to help it perform the way it did. So this Squire is totally stock. Um, it doesn't have a bone nut or Graftec saddles or anything like that. Um, so these tips will work on just whatever guitar you have lying around. Let's check them out. So here are the tips in no particular order of importance. Number one is adding some graphite into the nut slots. So what I did is loosen the strings off, uh, grabbed a pencil and just sort of penciled in some graphite in each one of the string slots. And this enables the string to move back and forth uh, through the nut as uh, we work the trem bar. And it's essential to have a nut that isn't sticking or binding on your string because that will instantly put it out of tune. So now that there's graphite in the nut slots, we're gonna take this G96 gun oil and oil up the rest of the friction points on the guitar. So gun oil is designed specifically for metal on metal friction. Um, so it's perfect for your strings over your saddle or the knife edges of the trim on the posts, uh, the string tree, anywhere where there's a metal on metal friction, uh, gun oil is gonna work perfectly. Next up in our quest for a reliable trim system is adding a couple extra springs. Now, uh, these squires came with two, uh, two springs in the back uh, to stabilize the trim. Uh, what we've done is add, added two more and that made a world of a difference. So yeah, just adding a couple extra springs. Uh, I've seen people with five, uh, four seems to work really good on this, uh, this particular instrument. Uh, they're cheap, you can find them at any music store or online, at Amazon, whatever, wherever. Um, throw a couple extra springs on and uh, yeah, you'll notice a huge difference. 
Next up is locking your strings in when you put a new set on. Uh, so I showed this technique on my video, 10 things everybody should know about the guitar. I'll put the link above if you haven't seen it. Um, but basically the, the concept is you put your string through uh, the tuning machine, you fold it under and over and then tune it to pitch. And that just stops uh, the string from slipping at the tuning machine side. And when you want a trim to be really stable, eliminating all those little slippage points is really important. So there you go. So our next tip has to do with the feel of the tram arm. Now we all know how terrible Fender slash Squire's uh, tram arms are with the threaded adjustments and there's so much play, you move the arm and it doesn't move the bridge or you over tighten it or under tighten it or it loosens over time. It's just pretty crappy. And so Fender's solution has, to, has been to add a spring in their American made guitars. So if you buy an American Standard or any of those guitars, it usually will come with a little tape over the tram arm. Um, and that's just to hold the spring in. And so what, what I've done is just purchased uh, some springs and I've thrown it in the cavity of the Squire. And it's made a huge difference. So these are just called, uh, let me see, American Trim Arm Springs, Fender Parts. Um, I would suggest if you have a Made in Mexico guitar or some of the Squires and you're just sick of that play in the Trim Arm, uh, grab some springs throw it in and it will tighten things up for you. It's not as good a solution as many of the other makers, but if you've got a fender and you love it, this is probably the best we've got. My final tip, don't be afraid to float the bridge. Um, if you wanna play in Jeff Beck style, you're gonna to need to be able to bend up and bend down and do trem flutters and all those different things. Uh, float it and it, you can still have it stable. You don't have to deck it with like five springs so it's so hard against the body, you can barely use the trem anyway. Um, if you float it, you can have such a light touch and it's just responsive to your playing. So here's how I've set up mine. Now everybody has their own way to set up their trem. I'll show you what I do. I like to have it so I can bend up a semitone on my first string. Just like that, and that translates to a full tone on my second string. Just like that, a tone and a half on uh, the third string. And on fourth string and fifth string, it's a full tone. And then on sixth string, it's a tone and a half again. So lots of usable tones um, on your scale. So it seems to work out really well. You don't have to have the bridge uh, crazy high off the body and it still gives you lots of flexibility um, for some interesting techniques. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed these tips and techniques I've showed you. If you have an old guitar lying around that you never play anymore because it won't hold tune, try some of these out. Maybe it'll rekindle your love for an old instrument, which would be awesome. Or if you're just a new player and uh, you wanna play in that Jeff Beck style where you're basically uh, using that trem bar the entire time you're playing, uh, yeah, try some of these out, it's really fun. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, definitely do so by clicking here. Uh, if you're looking for some tab to play, you can check out the store here and some other videos over there. Otherwise, have a great week, you guys. We'll see you next week with a new video. Take care.